Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be called How Does Your Boss and How Do Your Coworkers View You? And it's going to be really in depth. I'm going to be using a few different divina divination tools to help me to gather as much evidence as I can. Um, and I'm going to be using my own intuition as a guide as well. So I hope you enjoy and if you're new to my channel, be sure to um, subscribe and if you're enjoying the video please press that like button and if you leave me a comment I will always always respond to those because it gives me really great feedback and it helps me to know how I'm doing all right let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about how does your boss view you and how do your coworkers view you Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. So there are two ways that you can choose the pile that is meant for you. You can use the images or you can use the gemstones. So if you'd like to choose with images, you just go to the timestamps at the bottom in the description box and you go to the one that says images, pile selection with images. Um, but if you would prefer to choose with gemstones, we've got the purple amethyst here in the raw for pile number one. For pile number two, we've got clear crystal quartz. And for pile three, we've got obsidian. So take a moment to think about which pile you're drawn to. You can pause the video at any time if you need to, if you need more time. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about how does your boss and coworkers view you. Hi, pile number one. So if you chose image one or this purple amethyst in the raw, you're in the right spot. So. I'm just going to put this down here and I have pre-shuffled your cards, but I haven't looked at them. So we're going to be totally surprised together and I'm using a few different, um, decks. So it'll be really fun and I'm going to use whatever else spirit, um, calls me to use. So I'm going to also be using some channeled message cards that I did channel this morning. And I channeled those from Spirit, so those will be very interesting to add to this, okay? So I will start by flipping these over and then we'll talk about it. So we've got the comic. So Spirit, please be here now and help me deliver messages that are clear, concise, and accurate, and that resonates with pile number one. All right, these are all very good cards so far. Very, very good cards so far. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Comic, the Hanged Man, the Lovers, the King of Wands, the Sun, and the King of Cups. All right, so I feel like your boss will start with your boss and then go into your coworkers, okay? I feel like your boss views you as somebody who is very stable, shows a lot of stability and reliability in the workplace, and they are somebody who really respects that about you. You are an asset to the company that you work for and you're a hard worker and your hard work is paying off. Okay, you might even be getting some recognition at work for your hard work. You're very well connected and your boss loves that you get along well with your coworkers. You seem to have a way of communicating with your coworkers that is open, caring, and understanding 
and people are not trying to compete with you in the workplace. You're a real team player, okay? And you work with people that seem to be very fair, you know, which is really exceptional. Um, you could even be the type of person that actually, now this is not going to apply to everybody, but you could honestly work from home and not deal with a lot of others within the workplace. Maybe you're somebody who works from home and just interacts online with people. Um, but yeah, you're either way, if you're in person or if you're working online in, a, in an online capacity, your coworkers and your boss have positive feelings about you. Your boss feels that you are, like I said, dependable, reliable. Um, I'm not gonna lie, your boss, <laughs> for a lot of you, your boss does find you to be very attractive, physically attractive, okay? And your boss appreciates that you can be funny um, you have a great sense of humor here with the comic. It's like, you know, you can uplift the room with your easygoing attitude and you have a lot of spiritedness. You're very spirited. You can be downright hilarious at times. And your ideas are very ingenious, okay? You have, you have a dependability about you. People can come to you at the workplace, you have like a healing vibe about you. Maybe you relate to people through humor. Like at the, I mean, the comic is kind of front and center there. So um, it seems like your boss really appreciates that about you though, that you do sense or that you do get along really, really well with everybody within the workplace. And you try to be a team player. You try to um, like be there for people when people need help. Um, you step up to the plate, you know, you are, you're somebody who has a warm and pleasant disposition with the sun there. Um, with that hanged man there, I find that to be interesting because that can be sometimes, um, I've heard that that can indicate like Pisces energy. You could be a Pisces. Um, or this could just mean that your boss really does like your ideas. Oftentimes, Pisces people have very good ideas because they spend a lot of time thinking about deep things. So I really do feel that your boss finds your ideas to be innovative and that they really add a lot. You bring a lot to the table. So you're dependable, you have a great personality, and you're very passionate about what you do here as well with the lovers. Not only are you very connected to others within the workplace, but you're very connected to your boss in a positive way. There's no ill feelings, which is wonderful. I'm so glad that all of your cards are very positive. All right, you're definitely putting in the hard work. And you will be rewarded for this. You may be in line for a leadership role if you're not already. And if you are in a leadership position, your boss has a lot of respect for you. And so do your coworkers because your coworkers feel like you're fair. You're fair in everything you do and all your dealings. And you know what too? I got that for some of you, you might be wanting to move up the ladder of success within your workplace. And it might be on hold right now with the hanged man. It could be something that's on hold, but it is in the works. So just know that for some of you. And if you've been thinking about asking for a raise or a promotion, let this be a sign from the universe that it's time to ask for that raise or promotion because you really are bringing a lot to the table as far as what you can offer to this company, this um, work environment. You know, you're very rare because I'm hearing that, I'm hearing from spirit that you are very rare and um, exceptional. You have an exceptionality about you. Okay, I will go into um, the channeled messages now, but I do feel like your coworkers are all very, very happy to be part of the team with you, okay? 
Okay, so Spirit, um, how else um, is the boss and co-workers of pile number one viewing them? Um, okay, you could have somebody who's maybe a little bit jealous that you're really well liked. Um, I don't think it's a problem. There's not a source of contention though between you and this other person because you are such a nice person that you're 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 easy to get along with it's just that there might be one person okay that is a little bit jealous that you're very well liked i just heard favorite you might be the boss's favorite okay and for some of you you could even like i said you could be a boss or a boss in training spirit just said that you could be a boss in training you are a master of your craft you're getting so good at what you're doing. It's like you're constantly trying to improve and you are. You're being very efficient on the job and your boss is noticing this and your coworkers are noticing this too about you that you're very, very efficient. You get the job done and you're a very hard worker. You have a good work ethic about you. Stable worker. You're very stable. Yes. The four of wands is all about stability. Um, think of the four um, legs of a table without all four. The table would be off kilter. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as stable, as secure. So four is the number four stability. All right. You're a team player. Yes, you're a team player and you are one of the hardest workers at your job. You might have a stressful job and you could be the, one of the people that actually uplifts the place and helps people to smile and get through the day, okay? Because of your positive attitude, you really are like a burst of sunshine with the sun here, okay? You really are a burst of sunshine and your coworkers appreciate you. There's just like one, one person at work who's a bit jealous. You might even know who this is, okay? It's not a problem though. You conduct yourself in a professional manner and everyone, including your boss, is seeing you doing this. And because you're such an asset to your work environment and your company that you work for, they don't ever want you to leave, okay? They don't ever want you to leave. Oh my gosh. You remember how I said this earlier? It says ask for a raise or a promotion. So that's definitely confirmation that if you've been waiting for a sign to ask for a raise or promotion at work, now is your time. You are very caring in the workplace. It could be somebody who people notice are, you know, elevating, like I said, elevating the room, maybe with your humor or with your, your warm, sunny and bright disposition. You have a positive attitude. And this is one of the things that makes you such a positive force in the workplace. And this is why you make a good leader. One of the things is because you are great at conflict resolution, Spirit is telling me. And you crave a, a peaceful work environment. We got, you crave peace. You crave a peaceful work environment. Yes, you brighten the workplace. Every day that you come in there and you smile, or you go to work and you smile, you are brightening up the workplace. And also you're very trustworthy. Your boss isn't worried a bit about what you're doing, how, you know, they, your boss knows you're doing a job well done. They don't have to check on you continuously like okay there's some people that they feel like they have to check in on continuously but or monitor and you are somebody that they're like nah they know what they're doing <laughs> they don't need me to like breathe down their neck like they they give you a lot of space and a lot of autonomy to be you because you're doing everything right you're a hard worker you're one of the hardest workers at your at the place all right, and do you remember how I did say that for some of you, not everybody, your um, your boss is attracted to you? You could have um, a boss that does have a crush on you. 
and would like to have a workplace romance, but may think that it's not appropriate. Okay. All right. I think I'll just draw one more. You have really excellent ideas and they're cherished. You're, you are, your ideas are valid. The ideas that you have are novel, I'm hearing from spirit, very novel. Okay, I think what I'll do next is I did have a subscriber who asked me if I would pull some letter tiles to see if we could get, you know, you, the name of your workplace or the initials of where you might work. Um, so I'm going to do that. We could also get um, the name of some of your coworkers or your boss's name or any other um, hints that Spirit wants to uh, give us regarding what your boss and coworkers think about you. But I am telling you, like overall, you're an amazing person with lots of good energy around you and you have a supportive network of um, people in the workplace that really value you as a person and what you can bring to the table. And you are bringing a lot to the table. So I think that's wonderful. All right, so let's see, Spirit, please help me as I draw the letter tiles to show the initials of the workplace or the boss or some of the coworkers and any other information that you would like to give us regarding uh, this situation. So we've got A, A, F, I, 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 N, E. Lots of duplicates. Okay, if we get duplicates, I think I'll kind of stack them up. L, E, R, G, L, Y. I'm seeing the word allergy. Interesting. Either either you have some some allergies or somebody maybe a coworker has some allergies. Seems kind of random. But that's what's what's coming through. As far as like names, I'm seeing J, but I'm also hearing Jason. JC. And I'm also hearing Chad. When we get so many duplicates like that, I'd rather not use all the duplicates, you know what I mean? A few is okay. But anyways, you can count the letters for more than once, okay, if you need to. And, um, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right. So like I said, look for your boss's name. You could see your name or initials in here. Let that be confirmation that this is your pile. Like I said, you could see some coworkers' names in here. But I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Law. Lawyer. You could work in a law office or you could be working with lawyers. Okay. Or you could be a lawyer. Um, I'm also seeing finance. Finances. You could be a financial assistant or working in finance. Um, I am not seeing an M, but I'm hearing a medical technician or a medical worker or even spirit is whispering in my ear x-ray tech. Okay. So 
I know that's not in there, but that's what spirit is telling me. So I always go with what spirit tells me. Um, I'm seeing grant. Your place of business could have received some kind of grant or funding. I'm seeing hearing and trial. So this really is making me think of some kind of um, law firm or something like that. Um, you could work with a mostly females. Um, for some of you, work with a lot of females. There's no M, but I feel like there should be. Um, but like I said, and I don't know if I said this, but you could actually, like if there's a whole word except for one missing letter, I would say take it or a name that has everything except one letter, um, still count it. Um, I'm seeing Rachel. Rachel and Ray or Raymond. Jared, there's no D, but I'm hearing Jared. Um, Warren. Greg. Nancy. I'm even hearing Sherman. And Lance. Jeremy. And I'm hearing like Lydia or something like that. Even though there's no D, I'm hearing Lydia or Lottie, Ladia, something like that. Tony, Antonio. I'm seeing um, race. You could have people, all kinds of different, you know, nationalities that work in the same building for the same company, all united together for the same purpose and goals. I'm seeing goals. Very goal-driven company. Excelling. Alert. Okay, your boss finds you to be very alert. Very astute. very relaxed, even amidst stress, when stress comes up and you are in charge of your feelings, you don't get carried away. Okay, that's what spirit is telling me. You have a lot of grit and your boss likes this about you and your coworkers respect this about you, your grit, you're fiery. I'm hearing you're fiery and I'm seeing that in here, you're fiery. Your boss and your coworkers love your fiery attitude. You're not aggressive, but you are assertive. And it, um, if you are a lawyer, you're a real shark, I'm hearing. You're a shark, but you're a shark in a positive way because you win a lot, okay? And you are succinct in your words and you know how to articulate and you are very intelligent, okay? very very intelligent um so that is what i'm getting you can always look in here too and see what else you can see okay um yeah go ahead and continue to look or pause it if you need to and look more because you might see stuff in there that i didn't see because like, for, in, for instance, I'm seeing China in here. So you may work with a company that's somehow affiliated with China or situated in China. All right. And I'm also um, hearing and seeing Japan and just um, different countries in here. So you could have a national company. I'm even seeing national in here. Okay. National, national company. Awesome. It sounds like a wonderful company. And I'm very glad to do this reading and to see what your boss thinks of you and what your co coworkers think about you. Thank you so much, pile number one, for spending this time with me. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel so you can be part of my YouTube family. If you enjoyed this, please like my video by giving it a thumbs up. 
and comment if you will because I will always read those comments and I always respond because it gives me great feedback and if you would like a personal reading you may look in my description box below to find out more information about how you can obtain a personal reading from me all right pile number one I love you all very much stay beautiful pile number one bye Hello, my beautiful pile number two. So if you chose image number two or this clear crystal quartz, um, you're in the right place. I think this is a beautiful stone. It's just, it looks like glass. I love it. All right. So I will start by um, just saying a little prayer to spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to pile number two all about how does their boss view them and how do their co-workers view them thank you spirit all right so this will be how do your boss how does your boss view you and how do your co-workers view you the venom oh my goodness yeah i pre-shuffled um these cards but i didn't check them out yet so we're going to be surprised together but we are starting out with the venom so this makes me think that some of your coworkers could be um, a little bit jealous of you in the workplace, okay, with the venom. You might have seen some of this workplace toxicity um, coming out within, within some of your coworkers. And yet with others, you've got some good friends there, you know, who really understand you and support you, um, which I feel is wonderful. Some of your coworkers feel like you're a good friend and your boss feels that you get along well with so many people, okay? And the venom here, the toxic people are really not an issue. Your boss doesn't even really notice. It's something more that you're noticing, okay? And something that you're able to rise above and do the job and perform. Your performance is outstanding. With the secret there, yeah, your boss doesn't know about it. Like with the moon there, your boss doesn't even know about some of the petty workplace things that are going on. Like, you know, with people who, like, I want to say there's other people who are just jealous of you in general in the workplace, okay? Um, we'll find out a little bit more about why they're jealous. But your boss definitely thinks that you have a lot of skills, that you're very driven and that you want to succeed. You want to go to the top. You want to rise to the top. You're showing so much initiative, Pile 2. The Emperor, you're showing leadership skills. You could even be a trainer or something like that at your workplace or a leadership and train leader in training or a boss in training, or you could literally be a manager or something like that, okay? Um, sometimes your job is not easy. I'm not going to, you know, lie to you. Sometimes your job is really stressful with the Ten of Swords and it can get to you. But your boss sees that you always keep your cool. You are very stable in your mind and you're able to get the job done. I keep hearing that. Like, you really get the job done. Oh, geez. You've had some coworkers that have been really not nice. Um to you they're sneaky they go behind your back they're catty they talk about you behind your back toxic co-workers just a, just a couple two or three i'm thinking all together um you could count on one hand how many people there are that are kind of toxic in your work environment these people are definitely jealous they think that you're keeping things from them they think that um you know you're I don't know. They they honestly feel less than you. Very intimidated by you. Um, they feel like you're trying to like kiss up to the boss or something like that or trying to gain favor in the workplace. Honestly, this person is just very intimidated. Um, haters back off, right? <laughs> I'm hearing haters back off. You know, we don't care what you think. Um, but most people really like you in the workplace with the Ace of Cups there. All right, you could even have like a workplace um, crush or somebody that um, that you might be dating in the workplace with the Ace of Cups there. Or you could just be really loving to yourself in the workplace. Like when you're, if it's not like a workplace crush, then this is the other thing it could be. 
that when you're feeling stressed, you give yourself a lot of love and you encourage those around you. And I think that that's why you got some people that are jealous of you. Like I said, just a couple, two or three that are very um, venomous and they are kind of sneaky, but pay them no mind because you're able to rise above it. And look here, I mean, you're, you are so loving and I just, I don't know. I just wanted to say, I'm proud of you for everything you've gone through with this job experience because I'm hearing that like it's been tumultuous for you. You might have worked your way up to the top or like you may also feel like sometimes you're not getting the recognition that you need or deserve. Um, you really do deserve a lot more pay too is what I'm hearing for the type of work that you do. And um, your boss is well aware of this. Um, very well aware that you deserve much more. It might be the matter of fact that the company can't uh, afford to give you a raise right now or something like that, but your boss really wants to. They want to make you stay because um, your boss could be, this is what Spirit is telling me, afraid that you might leave and you're a valuable asset to the company. They never want you to leave. So your boss wants to keep you very happy. Your coworkers... There's some nasty ones that would like to see you go because then it, they wouldn't feel so insecure about themselves. But, you know, your friends at work would miss you. You've got some good friends you've made there. Um, at least two, okay? At least two really good friends. Um, so, I mean, overall, it's a mixed bag. But, yeah, as long as you keep focusing on the positive like you've been doing and rise above the drama... Um, you're going to be fine. Like I said, your boss likes you so much. Um, the person who oversees your work, they think that you have quality work and, um, they feel like you, they see like how hard you work and the stress that you endure. They're so proud of you. Okay. They're very proud of you. Um, let me just, I'm going to, um, shuffle these channeled message cards and cleanse them and we'll see, we'll dig a little bit deeper. And find out, um, you know, what else? How else does your boss view you? How else are your coworkers viewing you? You have a lot of passion in the workplace. And it's very obvious. And I think that's another reason why some of the people are very jealous about this. Because your boss is taking notice in you. that Because you do have so much passion and drive for what you're doing. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. You deserve more money for what you do. Yes. And your boss knows this. Um, I'm hearing for some of you who are not on, in a leadership role, you're on your way. They do want to promote you. They do want to see you become a leader because they think that you have great skills. Okay. And this is just a little side note. You could have a tattoo on your arm. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're, you're very professional. Um, you dress in a professional manner. Okay, you, you keep it clean at work. You're very um, well respected by your boss. And I'm hearing that you are very, very work oriented. Okay, you don't drag your work home with you or you try not to. And you don't drag your personal stuff into work. Okay, you like to keep that separate. You're very, very professional. What else, Spirit? All right, for some of you, your boss wants to invest in you and they want to take a chance on you and they want to promote you if you're not already in a leadership role. If you are in a leadership role, they may be considering you, promoting you even further up in the corporate ladder, okay? For some of you, you might work from home, but you're loving what you do and it shows you're loving what you do. For some of you, you could work from home part-time and go into the office and check in, touch, you know, touch base with an office. All right. For some of you, okay, I did not expect that. Pile one had something similar. Your boss could be attracted to you or find you to be very attractive. And maybe that's why people are jealous and snarky too, okay? Because they can tell the boss shows you favor and likes you. Um... But yeah, mostly your boss loves your ideas and um, your coworkers and friends love your ideas. You really want more responsibilities and your boss is knowing that you are showing more 
um, capabilities and more um, abilities and you are wanting, you're showing more initiative, okay? Yep, we've got a little bit of envy though in the workplace from other people who are seething with jealousy, okay? Oh my gosh, workplace crush. <laughs> you could have a crush on somebody at the workplace or they could definitely have a crush on you. This could be, be your boss, all right? I'm just saying, because the cards are pointing to that. You are great at pitching ideas and your boss really finds this to be refreshing and um, they love your ideas. Um, and your coworkers appreciate this about you too because you bring a newness with you into the workplace. You're a real go-getter. And you deserve a lot more praise even than what you're getting, you know, like a lot of verbal praise. You deserve so much. You might not get as much praise as what you, do, you actually deserve. You're a wonderful problem solver. When it comes to solving problems, your boss knows they can call on you, all right? And if there's drama in the workplace, you know, you're gonna try to resolve it. You're great at conflict resolution, and that is showing here. You're very, very mature, extremely mature. And I'm, t I'm seeing too, you don't wanna be entangled in the drama. So, you know, I respect you because of that. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, that was a lot of fun. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get the letter tiles out and we're gonna have fun with the letter tiles. We're gonna see if we can find the name of your workplace, the initials of your workplace, um, initials or names of your coworkers or your boss, okay? Um, you could even see your own name or initials. Let that be confirmation that you chose the right pile you can double up letters if you need to double up letters or you know um let's say there's a whole name there except for one except all except for one letter if if there's a whole name there all except for one letter i would still say count it okay for example for the name pat if the t isn't there but you see the p and the a um i would say count it all right, right away I'm hearing clerk. You could be a clerk. I'm even hearing county clerk, okay? Um, or even teller. I'm hearing teller, like a teller at a bank. Okay, you could work at a financial institution, like a bank, or even doing loans, loan applications I just heard. Okay, you could approve loans What I'm doing when I'm stacking these is there's a lot of duplicates. So I'm stacking the duplicates. I find that when we have a lot of duplicates, it's better to do it, do it this way. You can still double up the letters if you need to. So I'm seeing the name Jim and the name James. That could be your boss's name or yours or a coworker. Um, Lynn, Lenny, and I'm even hearing Dennis for some of you. There's, there may be a Dennis, even though there's no D. Victor or Victoria or even Vicky. Pat or Patrick? And I'll do one more row. Derek? Even though there's no K, I am hearing Derek. Tim or Tom or Thomas?
Xavier. All right. So there could even be, you know, like I said, first or middle or last names or just initials, yours or theirs, coworkers or boss. Um, you could see your company name in here or your occupation. Accounting, I'm seeing account, accountant. You could be an accountant or work in clerical, like I said. Um, for some of you, this seems random, but you could you could vape or the co one of your coworkers could vape, okay? Or you could work in a vape shop or a vape store. You could work in a store, because I am seeing that, or work for a big company, like a big um, franchise, okay? Um, commercial, I'm hearing commercial. I even hear real estate, okay? And it could be very competitive. If it's real estate, it could be very competitive. Um, I'm seeing the name um, Sue or Susan, Gina or Jeannie, Vinny, Vincent, Maya, Tex, that could be a nickname. You could see nicknames in here. Um, I'm seeing grad school all but the H. So, you know, you might have gone to grad school or some of your coworkers or your boss might have gone to grad school, but I'm definitely seeing like grad school. Okay. Um, menial, you might have a lot of details at your job that, are, that seem menial. Um, your, your job could be taxing, very taxing, very stressful, high stress. Um, I am seeing um, vampire. You could have like some toxic vampires or energy vampires that you work with, okay? I am seeing... Uh, Jealous, okay. Gel us. Jealous or jealousy at the workplace. Let that be confirmation. Um, what else? Banal, I'm seeing banal. Your job can be kind of boring at times. There might be highs and lows. Like sometimes where it's really, really stressful and other times where it's slow or boring. Because I am seeing bore, bored and banal. <laughs> okay. You could be thinking of switching into a different job. You know, you could be thinking of changing directions. Maybe you're not happy within this job or this placement or this profession even something more suited toward you. I'm seeing suited, something better suited for you, perhaps. Vigor, vigorous. I'm seeing vigorous. This job can be very vigorous, very vigorous and taxing. Sometimes it's very fast paced. Empire, I'm seeing empire. This could be a large company or corporation. I am seeing corporation. Okay, in the tiles. Interesting. Big. I'm seeing big corporation. This could be a big corporation or for some of you, a small corporation. <laughs> so take that, you know, how you want to take that, take it or leave it. But the thing is, is this is a general reading. So um, it's going to be different for everybody. But... I'm loving this reading so far. If you're enjoying these, this reading, please um, give me a thumbs up. Um, anything that you see in here counts too. Like, you know, you can pause the video and take a look and see, you know, um, see what spirit wants to uh, let you see in the tiles. So basically, I'm, this is all that I'm picking up for this pile. I hope you enjoyed this reading. 
and do be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already and I would love to welcome you into my YouTube family. Um, if you do subscribe, be sure to turn on that notifications bell so that you can be notified as I upload new videos. And if you'd like a further personal reading, I do offer those at a very affordable price. I like to keep the prices affordable for my subscribers. Um, anyways, uh, if you want to leave me a comment, I would appreciate a comment too because um, it helps with me, it gives me great feedback as to how I'm doing. And I always love to hear your stories. So please share your story in the comment and I will respond to you. I love you all so very much. Thanks to all my returning subscribers who are here with me and to all of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for tuning in and watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Stay beautiful, pile two. Bye. Hello my beautiful and wonderful pile number three. So if you chose the black obsidian and the image number three, you are in the right place. So I'm going to start with a prayer to spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me as I deliver messages to pile number three all about what is it that their boss is thinking about them? How does their boss view them and how do their co-workers view them for pile number three may my messages resonate with pile three may they be delivered with clarity and may they be concise and very accurate spirit thank you spirit please speak through me thank you okay so i will be using a few different tarot decks and an oracle deck as well this is the kim kranz oracle deck and I haven't looked at these. I just want to tell you, I pre-shuffled, but I haven't looked at these. The tear. Oh, how interesting that you have the tear here. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. We've got the two of wands. I can already tell that your boss respects you, has a heck of a lot of good respect for you because you are a planner. Okay. You're also very considerate with your coworkers. You you are caring. You actually care. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. Pile number three, you could be in a healing profession or some kind of like a um, caring profession. What do you call that? Um, service oriented, um, like nurse or some kind of hands-on type of thing like that. Okay, yeah. For some of you, not everybody, but for some of you, you're in a helping profession, okay? And you are very appreciated by your boss and your coworkers and your clients, I might say. Ace of Swords, all right. Um, there is some workplace gossip. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there is somebody in your workplace who is um, uh, kind of keeping an eye on you. You see the eye there? They're kind of keeping an eye on you and they, this is a, like, this is a coworker, I feel. Um, put the five of cups there and the ace of swords and this, this ace of swords is about gossip. It can be about somebody gossiping or going behind your back and talking about you. So I don't know why they would do this because for me, what I'm sensing right away is you're a very wonderful person. The only thing that could explain this is envy. Um, so you're a planner. Your boss sees you as planning, thinking ahead. You're somebody who's always thinking of others. Okay. You're very, you're, you're heartfelt in the workplace. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pile number three. What is this? We've got the three of swords and the wheel of fortune. Okay. You've got somebody at your workplace who's, they're, they act like they're heartbroken or something, okay? Well, another thing this could be is that you, you might be thinking of leaving this job and your boss is being left heartbroken because they don't want you to leave. That could be too. There could be a couple of different things playing out here with this deck. Your boss has you on some kind of pedestal and thinks you're one of the best workers in the company. With the three of pentacles, the things that you, the skills that you've acquired and the people skills that you have, 
you're a great asset to the company and you might be ready to start a new cycle or like you might be telling your boss hey I'm going to be going somewhere else and they're like no so they're actually this the tear makes sense here they're sad so for some of you that's your story like um you're planning on getting out of this type of you know this position or this career or this company and um you've given it a lot of thought you've had really nothing but a lot of heartache and and negative things with this job and i don't th think you feel as appreciated as you should and you do feel like people aren't true to you and there's some gossip and i feel like you know that people have been talking about you which is unfair a lot of unfair treatment but your boss really thinks the world of you and they don't want you to go so i feel like for pile three that is what is really being revealed to me here is that you know this is what's coming becoming more and more clear as we go on here with that tear your boss is viewing you as somebody that they don't want to go they don't ever want you to go and they may be worried either you told them that you are thinking about leaving or they're worried that you might be leaving because this shows melancholy this shows sadness um and it could be significant for that feeling of like drama in the workplace you know what the type of drama you don't want that's heartbreaking it's it makes you sad it makes you feel just sad in the workplace um so i want to know more i want to have more clarity about this but basically what i'm feeling is like this kind of sadness here um that your boss is feeling and this like they don't want to lose you but you may be ready here with the wheel of fortune for a new start okay um you may want to just go to a different job altogether different career career change or just a different company but your boss does not want to lose you and some of your coworkers are going to be sad to see you go too um except for i feel like you know there's always like one or two seems like um i think it was pile one that um even had even pile one had one co-worker that was like you know jealous or whatever you know you get that in almost every work situation so i would just say ignore that ignore the haters and um do what you want to do and follow your heart if if it's time to leave and you know it's time to leave you got to do what you got to do to take care of yourself and but i just heard your boss will never find someone your boss will never find someone like you you're not a light bulb you can't just replace someone like you you may work long hours your hours are too long and you're not getting paid enough okay um you're not getting paid enough and it makes you very sad and hence the tear here too it's like you're worth more than that okay and you're working too long of hours you you deserve more um yeah your boss may be trying to plead with you to stay try to offer you more hours but you're working too many hours as it is and it's just like it's overwhelming some people in your workplace are comparing themselves to you and this is why um you are so you're getting those jealous people because they're comparing themselves to you you may want to change jobs oh my gosh i can't make this up out of all these cards you got this you may want to change jobs that's exactly like i have chills right now for you pile number three you may be seriously considering um changing jobs you might want you want to change i can't make this up for some of you you'd rather work alone you're good with working with other people but it can be too much sometimes and maybe you want to work alone or you work best alone you're you're helpful you help others and you're an excellent communicator and these are some of your these are some of the things your boss is seeing about you they're seeing your potential um they're seeing that you're a great communicator um but i feel like your boss and your coworkers know that you're not extremely happy you know right now and they do i do feel like they know the good the good coworkers that love you they would be very sad to see you go because everyone knows you're a real asset to the company you take your job very seriously okay you're moving up you may be moving up to you know 
some kind of leadership role somewhere else. Maybe you got offered a different job or something. Okay, because of your really good ideas, you have good ideas. And we've got jealousy. Yeah, somebody's jealous of you. You're a problem solver. You're, you're somebody who, you know, if somebody has an issue with you or a bone to pick with you, you don't dwell on it. You may address the issue right away. Um, you're, you're good at resolving things. Your boss sees your inner communication skills, your interpersonal skills, and yeah, your boss has been just kind of watching you for a long time and is very impressed with you. I feel like your boss, boss is very down to earth, okay? He or she, they are very down to earth. They think that you're very fair and um, you're good at managing stress. But yeah, raise or promotion. Like, your boss could even offer you a raise to make you stay. Or try to pull out all the stops to make you stay because they don't want to lose you. All right. Um, new to... Okay. You could have a new position within the company. And... Or... I don't know, like for some of you, you might be new to the position, but learning very quickly. This is going to be for just for some of you that are um, in a position at work where you might have risen to a new position within the company and you're learning it very, very quickly. Um, but maybe even despite that, you may still want to leave. <laughs> okay, maybe for some of you, your boss was like, hey, I'll give you a promotion or I'll give you a raise to make you stay. And Maybe it just, um, maybe you tried it and it just hasn't been enough to make you want to stay. So that's going to be for a few of you, but not everybody. You show a lot of initiative in the workplace and you really impress your boss. And you contribute a lot to the workplace. Your boss likes you because you get the job done. But you deserve more pay and that is... That is definitely forefront in your mind is that you deserve more pay, you deserve more respect, you know, and you deserve happiness. So that's very interesting, pile number three. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, draw some letter tiles. One of my subscribers actually requested that I do the letter tiles for this reading. So um, I'm going to do that. And... I'm hoping that we can get your company name in here, your name, first, last, first, middle, or last. Um, I'm also hoping that Spirit will come through for us and um, give us some of your coworkers' names, first or last, or a nickname, or your boss's name, okay? Or initials. So, Spirit, please be here now. Help me to um, draw the letter tiles that will reveal clues, nick, uh, names, nicknames, initials of co-workers or the boss or the company or any other hints that you want us to know, Spirit. And um, the letters can be counted for more than once, okay? Um, and also, I wanted to tell you that if you see a name in here, um, but you, everything's missing, or I'm sorry, everything's there except one letter is missing. You can still count it, okay? And like, let's say the name, you know, Patrick um, is there, everything but the T, you would still count it. Um, what I'm doing is I'm stacking the duplicates because we really don't need the duplicates. So yeah, you could see your own initials, you could see your workplace, your name of your company, um, co-workers' names, initials. Let that be a sign that you've chosen the right pile. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you know, you can always watch another pile if you want to. So, um, we may get your occupation in here, but I am picking up just kind of intuitively, like healthcare or health, 
healthcare management, I even just heard Spirit say. I'm not even sure what that would be. But um, I'm seeing like RN here. You could be a registered nurse or LPN or nurse's aide. You could even be a nurse's aide. Or a nursing assistant. Um, I'm seeing vaccine. And I'm seeing um, HIPAA. So this is kind of leading me to think that you could be in the medical profession. I'm seeing vaccinated. <laughs> Your company could have required you to get vaccinated or something like that. <clears throat> trust um there's a lot of trust here in this workplace your your boss trusts you they don't have to worry you know when you're on the job they don't worry they know that you do a good job okay you're dependable you're trustworthy you're good at what you do and people truly like you for the most part, you know, you might have a couple in there that are kind of, eh. All right. So let's see what we've got here. For some of you, you could be pregnant if you're female watching this, because I am seeing that that's jumping right out at me. Um, or you could have a pregnant coworker or somebody who's on pregnancy leave. All right. Because that is popping out at me. Um, I'm seeing the word, the name, um, Teresa, Tessa, um, Rusty, Penny, Mary, Sia, Maya, Raya, Heather, Vince or Vinny, Star, Star Anne, Annie, Anne, um, Deanna or Diane, Diana, D, Dee Dee, Sean, Nini, Pam, Rissa or Larissa, Paris, um, your boss thinks you're very smart. I'm seeing genius, okay? Your boss thinks highly of you. Um, what other names here? Sarah, Sandy, or Sandra. Linda, Rex, or even Xavier. Um, uh, what else? Oh, you could be a hospice nurse, okay? Cause I am seeing death or no, yeah, I'm seeing death and dead. You could work with um, dying patients, okay? You could work with people who are on hospice cause I am seeing hospice you could be a hospice nurse i'm seeing hospice nurse for some of you not for everyone if you are i just want to take a moment to say thank you for what you do because that is a very difficult job um i was thinking about volunteering in that kind of a position and it was very difficult for me um very sad i'm seeing sad and you're a very strong person for being in that field in that profession all right what what else okay like i said you could see your company's name in here for some of you you could be a dental assistant or a dentist or work in a dental office or even a dental hygienist is what i'm seeing here dental hygienist 
dental hygienist. Okay, dental hygienist. Could be some kind of an assistant. Or I'm even seeing manager. You might, you know, manage other people. Maybe that's why you've got some haters, because I am seeing haters. Okay, haters back off, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, Sam, Tammy. Yeah, Lynn, Denise, and I'm even hearing Margaret, and I guess I'm seeing that too. Mar Margaret, Maggie, Meg. Janine, Daisy, I'm seeing Daisy here. I'm seeing Rose, Rosie. Those are the things that are really popping out for me, okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you need a further personal reading, check out my description box below for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading from me. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. You can find the information for that, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, you can find the information. I have a whole spiel I'm used to saying. If you're new to my channel, if you'd like to subscribe, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Um, I'm trying to remember what else that I need to say. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and do be sure to come back and visit my channel. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you leave me a comment, um, in the comment section, I will respond. I always do because I really love the feedback. I always appreciate that so much. Um, thank you all very, very much for your love and support. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, um, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, um, you can find the information for that in my description box below. Stay beautiful, Pile 3. I love you all so much. Bye.